Jesus. So one euro and 26 to go from my place to the train station. And that's where we're starting today's adventure. So stay with me and we'll see where it brings us. I'm going to take uh, the train up north for a little while and we'll get off and we'll explore a new town. So stay with me and see where All right, so just got our tickets. This is where we're heading. So today we're heading to Arklo. It's a very historic town. Uh, it was the one of the major final battles in the 1798 rebellion on uh, June 9th. There was a battle that the Wexfordians went up to attempt to go towards Dublin and uh, they got defeated in Arco by the British forces up there. So that was the one, it was a very bloody battle. Lost a lot of people on both sides. So we're gonna take a walk around the town. It uh, goes back way on in the years. I'll tell you a bit about that when we get up there. Uh, we're taking the uh, the train up. It's a nice leisure. It's supposedly it's one of the best views when you're taking the train from Wexford up to Dublin. Uh, very scenic. I'm going to show you a little bit of the, the ride up where we go with our, the train and some of the views. And then we'll explore Arklow Town. So here's what the seat looks like. Uh, Wexford up to Dublin. So they're very clean. Nice looking. You have little USB ports to charge your phone and your devices, so that's pretty handy. Uh, there's upper storage pieces. I'm in my bag on the floor in case somebody comes here. So it's not too bad. It's 765 from here to Arco, which is very good. It'll cost you more than that on the bus. So just waiting for it to take off. It leaves at 745, and we should get up to Arco by 840. So. Once it gets moving and that, hopefully we'll have some nice sights to see, so stay tuned and see what happens when we get to Arco. Also, uh, today is the ninth day of my all red meat diet with salt and water. It's going pretty good. Like I said, day four was a little rough, like I didn't sleep well at night, my stomach was upset, getting adjusted, because imagine 13 years of being a vegan and then switching to the extreme opposite. So. Even my partner Emily is saying I still can't go to restaurants with her in that because now, you know, it's very hard to order just meat that has nothing else on it. So, anyways, it's going pretty good. I feel a lot better now, and um, you know, I feel like I'm losing quite a weight. I'm just getting used to it. So now the train's moving out. Right, sir. The first part is not very appealing looking. And on this one, I'll probably have some nice music and speed it up along the way and slow down in some nice little places that we might see. You made me so light, rushing like this. Remember my life, I wasn't happy.
Have a good concert, lads. Yeah, Tom goes away for me now. Yeah. Yeah. It's not bad. And we don't take babies. Yeah. Okay, so we're in our club. Um, it was an okay ride, a little noisy. You wouldn't want to be uh, trying to sleep or catch a ride, so there's the welcome sign in our club. That's some uh, information about our club and the way out. Let's just head this way. So you come out of the train station, you turn to left. It's the only way to go. So the first part of the trip is here. Um, we're going to walk around, explore things that happened in Arklo. I got a few uh, notes that I've done some research on and I'll be talking about that. So stay with me and we'll find out what it's like to come to Arklo. It's a historic town now. Is it worth it coming? Just stay watching and you decide. Be, uh, be sure to hit a comment on whether you'd come to Arco if it's something that interests you. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. We're trying to get up to the 500 mark before. Um, I'd like to get the 500 by the time I go to uh, Edinburgh. I'm going to Edinburgh on the 21st, 22nd of July for the weekend. And then of course we have the Nepal trip coming up in September. And there I want to hit a thousand. So basically I'm doing this blind. I haven't really looked on the map where I'm going, so we're going to walk around and explore. Um, I've never been to Arco. I've been here over 15 years and passed by it probably 50 or 60 times on Bus Aaron. Bus Aaron goes right through Arco. But I've never actually stopped in that, so it was always a little curious in my back of my brain what it was like. So we'll find out. There's an old period feature house there. Those are interesting little houses as well. There's a big church at the end of the road here. We're gonna see what that's like. Here's an interesting house I was just walking by and on the top there's a sign there Noble Shipping Law uh, St. Mary's Road Hmm. and then right beside it there's a house that has a crown with a C 1878 It's going back some time So now we're coming up to it's Marble Hall 1878 same as the, uh, the house that's right beside it, so it was all constructed around that same time. 150 years. And here's a church right beside it. I wonder what it is. Oh, there it is. Arklo Christian Community Church. With the, that's what this one is. There's an old building there. Law Chambers. That's an old building. Looks like it's up for sale. So it's apartments. I think it's been converted to apartments. You see the numbers on the uh, the buzzers so the one up there is for sale so it's like a condo I'd imagine so now we're walking into part of town here's another old church I wonder if we can get in from the front and there it is There's a hill in the background, it looks nice. The sun beating off it. Let's go through here, see if it's 
see what it's like here. So the church is closed. There's a medieval medieval grave slab here. Take a look what that says. An ancient graveyard containing the site. The church was found back in 1839. The town land of Ferrybank, which is situated on the north side of the Arco Bridge. And then here's the church. Arco. Now, we'll head back out. So here we are at a monument for Father Murray Michael Murphy, who perished in the 1798 battle. Uh, it was on the June 9th. That's right in front of the church that we just visited. Now there is a cathedral up here. We're gonna go take a look at. Maybe a thumbnail. We'll see. So right in front, there's an old theater looks out of work and so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna head up this way first so we'll walk up this street so here's Wild Ireland where you get your fishing tackle and all that stuff fishing is very popular in Ireland Wexford Town has one here's a, a little shop that has a bit of everything, a convenience store. Classic burger. And there's the cathedral in the background. We're gonna go up to that. Authentic Turkish barbers. Very good. I need to get my hair cut. Probably wait to do it in Wexford Town. I don't know, we'll see. The Railway Tavern. Now it's very early, it's uh, about nine o'clock in the morning. Here's an old one. Bet, bet supplies. Across the road, you have St. Vincent de Paul, charity shop, pharmacy, chemist, and then Dublin Tattoo Company. Arco Computer Solutions, Joe Smoothies, and then the good old Arco Chinese Takeaway, and the Fun Palace. Although I don't know there's much fun in there, losing your money on computerized games, but tweets their own. Some people like it. And the Fun Palace is located, of course, right beside the bookies. So if you haven't lost all your money there, you can go there. So now we're coming up to a main part. So we have another barber shop here, right beside the NCBI, which is uh, for the blind the charity. And Nails, Spa and Beauty, Rainbow Garden, so it's another Chinese, and we're going to try to cross over because we're going to head towards the cathedral and see what that's like. Let's go now. Okay. There's a nice little corner house, corner house pub, you get a sign on Dale Road. And there's the cathedral. I wonder if we can get to it from there. We'll go up ahead a bit. And there they have proper pizza. Not this imitation stuff, but the proper pizza. Never heard of proper pizza. And here's uh, Maisie Kelly's. That's a nice looking establishment. I like that sign there. Painting job looks good, like it just blends into the air one. It's, it's nice, it's refreshing. There's a place where you can get flowers. Peter's Place. And there's the 
cathedral we're trying to get to. Okay, at this spot, Michael Murphy was killed while leading the Gallian followers in the Battle of Arco on the 9th of June, 1798. So he's killed right here. And also they did some terrible stuff. So this is the Church of Ireland, Anglican St. Saviors. Hmm. It's closed here anyways, but here's what it looks like. It's a big massive church. Okay, so there seems to be residentials up there, so we're gonna head back this way. Okay, I just checked Google and from where the Tesco is, if you just continue up the road up there, on the right hand side, you'll find McDonald's. So if you're in town looking for McDonald's, that's where you go. I'm going to head back to the other side because there's some other areas I want to explore first. Going back to the roundabout here, you can see there's a Town Heads tattoo shop here too. So there's narrow one. And they wait in your teeth for 15 euro. So they whiten your teeth while they darken your skin. And here's Town Ed Barbers. John Brady is a local Sinn Féin TD for Arkansas. Just want to show you, I was walking by this, so I didn't notice, but if you look closely, those are facades on the doors and windows on these next three houses. Well, look at that one, it doesn't even have a roof. But if you walk by, so I guess it's an appearance to make the town look, you know, so you don't have vacant buildings and that. So it's, I don't know, it's a creative way to tidy up the town a bit. As, you know, nobody likes to see derelict buildings. So just down from the uh, Father Murf uh, Murphy statue, we're coming down into the air part of uh, Arco. You can see the old Bank of Ireland building, still in use. It's the ATM right there. Actually, I should probably go get out a few, uh, some National Reserve funds, because I think I only have a fiver in cash. So let me take a look at ATM and watch. Okay, so I topped up the uh, Federal Reserves at the National, at the Bank of Ireland there. Now there's a little lane that goes down that way. So you see there's an Apache Pizza and the financial services. And then the hair and beauty salon. So we'll just keep walking down this way. Tourist Chinese takeaway. That's the third Chinese takeaway I've seen. Very popular. Narco. It's very quiet still. Sun's beaming down on us. I'm not complaining. I only wore a t-shirt. There's another vacant building, but they've put those facades in front. Let me know what you think about them. Here's Bradshaw's Lane the Gallery. Soya Bean. Car Park and Arco Urban Garden. So this is a pub. In a sign. There's one, the 56. It's hard to tell if that's a facade because it's out of use or it's because it looks like a nightclub. So it might be still in existence. So let me know if in the comment section. There's a Joanne's Bakery. So there's one in Wexford Town we saw and we saw one in Gory. So you can watch those videos and you can see oh, some more information about Wexford. Here's all the pastries. I'll show you what it looks like. Like look at all the pastries you can get. Joanne's. They look delish. There's a hot counter, no sandwiches. Here's some prepared food and cakes. So you can pick that up at Joanne's. So like I said, they're located in Gory and in Wexford Town. There's a Patty Powers. Here's a little garden. Let's walk across and see what the garden's like. There's a nice old Litter box. It's a cast iron. There's a 
fountain feature in the middle. The water's not running, but there's water in it. And then here's some grave markings along the side. There's another one. 1784. Very old. 1769. And this one. 1707. Very old, definitely. Three over 300 years. Here's a little bandstand. It'd be nice to have like music playing here. There's the river feeding in. We're gonna walk up to the bridge. It's not too far. Yeah, so that's very nice. Okay. And then St. Mary's Park Cemetery Origins. So that's what it is. The Parish Church of Arco on the main street. You can see that's converted building because that says church build, build. But I imagine the whole part was building on the side, but they've renovated that. Too bad that they didn't keep the whole corner looking the same way as the, the main building, you know, for historic reasons. Powers Souvenir Shop. I wonder if it's closed. It looks very dirty. So I don't think it's been open for a while. Center to Pat Casey, Fianna Fall. There's good old Patty Powers. On post, the post office. Jimmy K, Family Butchers. I think it's closed. It's for sale. Too late. No, it's sold. So it'll be opening soon. Express Pizza. This is a shop with all technology and items, a computer dock store across, Sue Ryder, another charity shop, and there's a, the gin mill, Cave Mead Falcha, live music. Yeah, the sun's getting really warm, it's banging on my face now, well, I'm not complaining. Like we've had some tremendous weather this year. There's a beauty salon. And Cavanaugh Bar and Lounge. It's like an old traditional one. Donut Express. Make you get donuts and crepes. Bar and Lounge. The Outsider. Doesn't look open though. Lawrence Hardware, Patty Doyle. So it's a convenience shop again. You get you a combat van for gifts. You got the papers and the ice cream, and of course, the National Auto. And then the place for rent from our beauty salon. Here's the, uh, the AIB bank. Another chemist here. The Royal Hotel and Sally O'Brien's Bar. Looks very modern. Oh, here's a nice mural. The old ship. And down the lane that goes to the water. Okay, and then here's the front of the old ship. Gold Standard Bar 2017. Restaurants are. The old ship is not open yet. Probably because it's too early. And here's another tattoo stop. They like their tattoo parlors. So, I'm gonna get some shoes and clothes. And another chemist. Lots of chemists in, uh, in Arwen. There must be good money in it. And here's the man shop. Another barbershop and an optician's. And 
then Christie's Lounge and Bar. So they have quite a few pubs and bars in uh, Arco. Victoria Tea Times. Ooh, very uh, elegant. You have to order in advance. It says, please telephone Audrey. 0894285848. Says you have to give 24 hours notice in advance. Crazy vape. I don't understand the vapes. I think they're going to be end up worse than uh, cigarettes in the long end. And here's Walkstar. Another one. Let's see what kind of prices they have. Appetizers. Okay, what's the mains? Ooh, Nuari curry. Nepali biryani, $14.99 for veg. $16.49 uh, chicken and a mix of uh, $18.49. We also have vegan options available. Right now, I can't eat anything from any store because I explained I'm on that red meat diet. So I have, I have tomorrow will be 10 days, so that'll be one third of the way. Um, so the hardest part I find with the diet is uh, nothing to drink except for water and also no snacks, really. But you can eat whatever you want as far as, you know, meat. So here we're at the corner. This is where the bus comes in and turns. So we'll go there. We'll go up there later. I'm just going to walk her down here first and then we'll cross over the bridge and we'll see what's on the other side. And here's an interesting shop. Eric Craig. It's a haberdashery. So if you want to make your own clothes, what they have uh, suits for sale. Well, check it. 89, 85. Reasonable prices. Little dated though. That's a nice uh, t-shirt, uh, shirt there. 25 euros. 15 euros for that. Hmm. Value. Here's another habach uh, haberdashery shop. Cool for school. Plain Pearl, it's called. Here's a building site now. Another barber's. Is it open? Yep. Here's another barber's. Healthland. Closed. So, the Chinese food is very popular, but apparently the health food is not. And the pubs are a good success here. There's actually quite a lot of uh, pubs. I didn't realize that. Here's Snooker Lounge. Very good. And design and print copy place. So, Monday to Friday. Another opticians. Speedy cleaners. So when you gotta get stuff dry cleaned, you can come here. Keep walking down this way and here's a nice looks like an old traditional pub. Here's Laffin's Lane. There's some more works up all the way to the Arco Credit Union. You can see the credit union up there. Credit unions are very popular. Good, I recommend it if you're ever in Ireland, to, living in Ireland, you have to have a credit union. So there's the Brook House, Jameson. Here's the sign on the side. It's all painted, well decorated, I'd say. And then you have the ships, White House. And then right beside the Boyle Sports. So it's probably a horsey bar, I'd imagine, seeing as the bookies are right beside it. Let me know in the comment section if it is. And here's the citizen's information. When I moved to Ireland in 2008, it was very handy. You went in there and they helped me explain what all I needed to do as far as getting the PPSN number and what kind of documents I need, what I have to do. Very helpful and you can go there for all sorts of reasons, passport queries, problems about housing and that. So they're very, uh, very good. They have a good website as well. 
Lisa Taro's Holistics Massage and Beauty. And here we have Ankisht in Iron, but it's closed. Oh, the bakery closed 22nd, 23rd, 24th due to her son's wedding. Well, hope you have a good wedding and everything goes well. And there's a sign that leads out. If you go that way, you'll head to the golf club. And then Pat Healy's sons, traditional craft butchers. So here's what you can get. Belly of pork, round roast, bacon ribs, Highland Auto Parts. It's hard to compete with the Brady's because the Brady's own the whole block seems back there. Okay, so now we've done that part, so I'm going to head back to where we started and head down towards the bridge. So now I'm at Joe's bike shop. So that's the corner where we turned. We went straight. Just look at the old sign. So Main Street is to the right, Wexford Road, and Lower Main Street is to the left where we just walked down. And now we're gonna travel across the uh, the bridge. And there's Boys Accommodation Bridge Hotel. That's a nice fine building. Very well painted. I like the decor, the signage, and I like the little pictures on the bottom. So you have the sailing ship there, fishing ships, and the Viking ships. Richie's Barbershop, another barbershop. Lots of barbershops. I'm gonna, let's see, maybe I'll cross over and I'll get the murals here. Good. Asian Harvest Chinese and Thai restaurant. Another one. And then here's the bridge. Avoca River. Looks like it's under construction. No other. Now it was a very popular port town. So you see over on the far I don't know if the GoPro picks it up, but if you follow my finger, there's an Audi on the other side. It's right beside the Bridgewater complex. So it's uh, a Dunn Stores, has TK Maxx, has an Omniplex for the movies. So that's, that's basically everything you need. Here's the waterfront. Look at all the swans and then the seagulls grazing on it. I think it's low tide because the water looks really low. I've been over this before. a lot more higher than that. It's a rather short bridge. I'd say it's about a quarter of the size or a third of the size of Wexford Bridge. In fact, a quarter I'd say because I'm almost over it now and we just started it so nice views in the background surrounded by hills. And there's another little statue there. There's a little center up ahead. But I brought my uh, snacks, so I fried up some pork sausages last night to bring them with uh, my big flask of water. Might get another flask of water. Maybe I'll see if I can find a coffee shop and have a nice, a nice cup of boiling water. I know it's pretty boring, but hey, put yourself challenges. It's always nice to make challenges for yourself. Um, set goals, you know. It doesn't mean you have to achieve everything, but at least if you have a target to go at, you're going to go somewhere. Whereas if you just 
go willy and nilly and that you're guaranteed you're not going to go anywhere so we're going to cross over we'll wait for the uh, we'll go to the zebra markings we'll cross over there there's a heritage walk this way too and arco marine maritime museum what's this sign the birthplace of ronnie delaney The gold medalist in the 1500 meters in Melbourne in 1956. Fair play to him. So, there's another chemist right beside the uh, center. So we're going to cross over here. A Masonic Hall right here. You don't see Mason Halls. 1903. Okay, and walk. This way we'll see the statue and then I'm going to check my phone again, check my bearings, see where the bus stops are to head back towards Wexford and uh, maybe see if there's a place where I can get a cup of uh, hot water just to chill out and maybe use the facilities before I get on that bus ride. The bus ride is about an hour and 20 minutes or so. Okay, so here's that sign that, that was on the house. So here's monument for him. And here's a has a little description for you on what he achieved. He was born on the 6th of March 1935, known as Ron, and from Arco Town. And basically 2006. So he had a decent life. He got the freedom of uh, Dublin City, an honorary doctorate of laws degree at the University College of uh, Dublin. And there's what he looked like. And there's him winning. So 102. And that's the number they have on the uh, bronze. Okay, so I'll walk to the water here a bit. And then we'll see about getting a cup of coffee. Well, minus the coffee, of course. Wonder how much they charge me for a cup of coffee without coffee in it. It's very windy here on the waterfront, though. So I'm going to turn it off now. So we're walking. Here's another tattoo shop. I don't know how much is that? Five, six? You tell me how many you've seen. It's right a bunch. Uh, Another credit unit. So this is a smaller one. And a nice feature building. An old style house. And another one with the red brick. So I'm looking for the bus errand stop. Wexford bus doesn't come into uh, to uh, Arco, so you have only the one choice to get to head back. Now I see it's on the other side, so it only figures it should be across, or pretty close. Here's the vets. 1968. So it's two years younger than me. And here's another Ferry Bank Butchers. You get four chicken fillets for six year olds. Good deal. And Marcellus and fish and chips. Delightfully delicious. Oh, here's an option to maybe uh, get my uh, hot coffee. So there's the bus stop. I wonder where the other one is. Here's the Arco Methodist Church across the way. Nice building. Interesting design. Like it's a fairly big town. Like there's a lot of branches with has residential areas in different parts. Like I'm not gonna walk all it, but you know you can can go and explore it. It's all over the place. So there's a telephone booth. Ooh, look at that. Looks like a modern yoke. Yeah, first one of these I've seen. And then the advertising in the back. And we'll go to here, and if not, I'm gonna keep walking the other side. I'll catch a uh, 
bus from the other way side then. I don't see any on this side. I see That's what happens when you travel the bus never getting off at the place. You just take for granted you don't look at the bus stops. These are nicely decorated homes. There's a fair age on them. They look like super thick walls, like the ones we had when we lived in the flight in Wexford. Here's a B&B. There's an Arco Bay Hotel that way. Oh, here's the bus. Let's see where the stop is. So obviously, I'm gonna have to catch the next one. Let's see. Oh, looks like. I have a chance. Oh. Whew. That was a rough run. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know where the stop is. I... Oh, yeah, it stops there. So, right by the. Go, right? You're going to Wexford. Wexford Town, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, had a little bit of a run. <laughs> I was walking, I was. Because you seem to stop across the road. Yeah. Whew. Had a breath now. No, uh, Wexford Town. Yeah, no worries. Just one way, is it? One way, yeah. Yeah, it's probably 10.50 coming already. 10.50? No. I'll use the card then? Yeah, no. Thank you. of a run there to catch a bus so for future reference it's right opposite this the stop that's on the other side of the street in front of that um, coffee shop so it was 1050 to get to Wexford when you compare it to what it cost me to take the train to uh, Arco which was seven euros 65 if you book online in advance so now I'm going to chill out and take the ride back home. <laughs>